So in this video, we continue our discussion on the method of Gaussian elimination to solve for the linear system. And please recall an important fact we have noted in a previous video. And um, the fact is that there are actually three possibilities for any linear system. The first two possibilities, we call them consistent because they at least have one set of solutions. The last possibility, we call it inconsistent in the sense that it actually has no solution at all. So uh, now, um, we'll introduce a special type of system in this video. It is called the homogeneous system. So to put it in a simple way, any homogeneous system of linear equation basically means that the constant term in all the linear equations are zeros. So for example, you can easily see a system like maybe you have uh, something like that. Yeah, this system has three unknowns and two equations. And uh, you see the fact is that the constant is always zero and we call it a homogeneous system, just a simple example for such a system here. And if you convert it to a matrix form, just for this special case, uh, we have the fact that the right-hand side on the matrix form is always zero, right? So uh, in that case, we call it a homogeneous system. And please note the following fact. So now you see I'm actually claiming that any homogeneous system has at least one set of solutions. Can you see why? Um, I'm just taking a simple example here with uh, two equations and two unknowns in the system. The fact is that uh, we always can choose the zero solution to be one of the solutions in the system, right? I mean the zero solution means you can basically set the variables be zero for all of them and in this case there are only two variables x and y. We can set them zero and you can try to plug in and see what's happening. You see when you plug in x equals zero, y equals zero and of course no matter what coefficients you have which are attached to the variable the right hand side must be zero right when x is zero and y is zero. So it means what? It basically means um, based on my claim that any system which is homogeneous must have at least one set of solution it basically means um, we can simply set all va variables to be zero. Or the other way is uh, the solution that I claim any homogeneous system must have is basically the zero solution. In the sense that you can set all variables be zero, right? And uh, let's come back to my note in the black color at the top here. Please take a note here. Uh, for a homogeneous system, now um, I think it is safe to say that for a homogeneous system only the first two possibilities are possible because uh, we have at least one solution anyway and um, the final possibility that um, the system has no solution is impossible for such a system, for such a system. And um, now, um, we'll finish this video by just doing a couple of examples. So you see this one clearly is a homogeneous system because the right hand side is zero and you can write it in a matrix form if you want and we can do a row operation and I think um, it doesn't really matter. Maybe I can eliminate this, it doesn't matter. So um, I can do something like row two minus two times row one. I'm not following the typical way how we do it by the Gaussian elimination because if we have only two equations, two unknowns, um, it is easy anyway. So I think um, after doing this row operations, what we have is this one is zero because it's two minus two times one. And this one is uh, three minus two times two, you see, because it is two here, right? And um, so you have a system like this. And I think it's fairly straightforward because if you write it in terms of the equations, what you have is the following. And we can do a simple backward substitution, x must be zero. And of course, it means that based on the first equation, y must be zero. You can do it yourself. It means this system, uh, as we expect, it has at least one solution, which is the zero solutions. And um, actually, in this case, we have exactly one solutions. It is actually the obvious choice, which is x equals zero and y equals zero. And let's look at another case. So now I directly write the system in terms of the matrix form and I think in this case we can do the Gaussian elimination by making it zero. So it's row two minus two times row one in that case. So if we do it like this, we actually notice that uh, we are getting the row two 
to be uh, a zero row. And zero row uh, is something we have noted before in a previous video. It essentially is uh, zero equals zero on the left hand side and the right hand side respectively. And it is not wrong, but there's no extra information. So it means that uh, in this system, we actually have only one equation, but we have two unknowns, right? And um, it means that we must have infinitely many solutions in that case. And of course, um, it includes the obvious solution where both variables are zero, right? And if you try to present all the solutions in the matrix form, you actually set y be t, and by the equations we have x plus 2t equals zero, it means x is actually minus 2t, right? So we can actually present our solution by the parametric form in terms of the parameter t in the sense that our solution is actually minus 2t for x and y is actually t, or you can present it this way. And this is um, the solution form for the um, homogeneous system given at the top. And you see uh, t is any real value. So it means every time you choose any value, you actually get a set of solution. And that's the end of this video.